morning I thought I would share my last advent with you I've got two advents left these are two 24 ones and these on here are the last of my 12 ones so before I explain I need to put a disclaimer in I've eaten chocolate already it's been one of them days where I fancied chocolate and I have had it so this is off my friend Rachel from my Instagram swap. We're doing a fabric swap and this piece is from her today. Isn't that nice with all the buttons on? Love it. And then I've got, this one is from my friend Fiona with all the Scotty dogs on, Christmas Scotty dogs. Isn't that pretty? And then these two, this one was yesterday's off. Lindsay from Stitch Create Love and she knows me so well this one is today's isn't that lovely love it so that one's off Lindsay then this one is off my all about bags swap that I did how beautiful is that all and stitched a key ring in a little um oh embroidery hoop that is gorgeous that then I got this off Susan. Now, I'm not sure if I should have opened this today, but it didn't have a number on it, so I did. Anyway, it's a gorgeous cup from Susan. Isn't that lovely? Thank you very much, Sue. I love it. And then there was a little ball of wool. Again, with a sweeting that I've already eaten. And that's off Sue. Then this one is off Dawn. This is my swap off dawn from dawn's days i think she's hand dyed this i'm not sure what colorway this is i will ask dawn is that not just gorgeous and it's actually showing up that's a little bit brighter than it should be or than it is showing up on camera I mean but the rest to be fair is pretty true to color how lovely is that and then finally off denise how adorable is this little sheep Oh, I love it. Let me just, let me sit it on this box and you can see its feet dangling. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? So that was off Denise. Thank you very, very much, Denise. I love it. So yeah, them are my last 12 days of Advent, all unwrapped. Like I say, I've got two more left. Um, I shall do my Toft and my Suzanne from Green Lampkin next, but I'll sit down to do that for you. Next up is opening of my Toft Advent and my Suzanne from Green Lampkin Yarns. So today is number 12. Can, oh, I do this every time, don't I? We can't see it. It does say 12. Um, and it's a new colour yarn. So let's see what it is. It's really nice here today. The weather is really bucked up, if you like. Mm, that's nice. This is teal. Isn't that nice? Um, so that's that. I'll show you what I did yesterday with my Toft Advent. Loved it. Absolutely loving every minute of it. And this is Suzanne's Day 12. I'm very behind with this. But I don't care. Because I won't be when I've done it, will I? When I've eventually... Oh, look at this. Mm-mm-mm. That is pretty, isn't it? And Werther's Original. Oh, my favourites. Oh, one of my favourite sweets. I have a lot of favourites. And this is The Grocers, The Grocers. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely love it. Thank you, Suzanne. So those are my two advents of yarn today. And let me show you what I got up to yesterday. It took me, it took me all night nearly to do this. Um, because I've never worked with beads before, and I've you well, know, and, and I'm a, like you, you all know, I'm an avid amagaruma maker, but I've never really done amagaruma maker, but I've never really done beads. But look at that, isn't that lovely? Can you see all the glass beads on there? And you crochet them in as you go along. Um, there's a lot of ends to weaving in there. Can you see? Is it focusing? Yeah, so there's a lot of ends to weave in there. So <laughs> she did say, I watched this morning's video and Kerry did say that the weaving of the ends, she le always leaves them um, till she's got them all to do. 
um, she said, but it will be very soon when we're weaving them all in. So, I mean, and she does say you can do it as you go along, but I might as well, because there's such a lot, I might as well have a mass weaving in session. Um, so today, I know what it is today. I've not done it yet, but I know what it is today. We are putting claws on our feet and, <coughs> excuse me, in the teal. So those are going to go claws here. Um, and we start another piece. I've not, I've not had really had a look and I don't know what that is yet, but I know we start another piece in the, is this ruby? In the ruby. So today I'm using the ruby and the teal and this is how far we've got. So we've got this, which I'm thinking is some sort of crown. Do you think a crown? Some sort of crown. We've got two feet. Let's see, that we'll shortly have claws on. And then we've got the body, but none of it is stuffed yet. It's still not stuffed. I don't know. I mean, I'm so used to stuffing as I go along, but I've, I've followed the pattern to the T. So there's all these bits and pieces to it. I'm absolutely loving the colours. So that's my toft advent up to now. And I have to say, um, like I say, I'm really enjoying it. Excuse me for bending down. I'm really enjoying it. I've not done any more on my close to you shawl. I have been working on my granddaughter's um, unicorn, which I will show you later. And I have got other things to show you here. I have made a start on my Trixie Pixie doll. Well, not made a start on it. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you next what I've done. But this is sat here. This is for the little piggy, and I'm itching to start this. I really am itching to start it. So I don't know. Maybe I will this afternoon. Who knows? Let's see how far we get with the top, the Trixie Pixie doll, and the other thing I have now decided to make. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now and get on, and I'll catch you all later. So let me explain what I've done. I have ironed all the fabrics. Everything that you need for this kit, for this doll is in the kit. I've ironed all the fabrics. I've cut out all the pattern pieces and then I've laminated them. Now, I do this to all my pattern pieces. It was um, a tip from Angela this. I never used to do this. I used to just pin them on. But it's easier to hold them down and draw around them and of course because it's laminated it keeps them nice and you'll be able to use them over and over again so i've cut out all the pattern pieces i've laminated them cut them out ironed all my fabric um you even get you know like this the pom-poms um what is this this is a pipe cleaner you get everything um so i'm all set to go now but before i do i'm just going to make a coffee in my new mug um, and then look at this other thing that I might embark on. I might do this sometime over the weekend or I might do it in the week, but I want to make myself a bear. Well, when I say myself, I don't know. It de depends how it turns out. If it turns out nice, I will be gifting it. If not, I'll keep it myself. But again, this is from Angela. This is a molder flannel and it's so soft. And I just looked, I just liked it because it was red and it's that time of year. And plus the fact it's non-directional, so I can cut the pattern pieces out anyway, really. And it, you know, the, it won't matter. So this is what's on the table at the moment. But before I embark on all this, I'm going to make a drink. So in the blink of um, an eye through YouTube, I have done the body. You can see now it's getting dark, it's gone, I've lost the light in here, so I'm not going to show you much more now. Um, but yeah, that's the body. Um, you can see how it's coming together. Really lovely thing to make this. And now it says that I have to do it the hat. So I'm going to do that next and then I think I'm going to call this a day for today. Um, because I'm losing light now, it's going dark, it's about half past three here and it's going really dark. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully by the time I see you tomorrow, she'll have some hair. So I'll just show you that I've done a hat. Well, it isn't a hat, I think it's a hair. Oh, sorry about the, the light and it's really, really dark now. Anyway, I've done that and I've just got to do some running thread. I think that attaches it to the doll. 
Anyway, that's as far as I've got today and I'm going to leave her for there because as you can see, it's really gone dark now. And I'm going downstairs to watch a movie and maybe have a cup of tea. just wanted to come on and show you these gnomes. A couple of my subscribers and viewers have asked me um, what pattern this is so I just wanted to quickly show you so you know what I'm talking about. I will look for the pattern um, and I will put a link in my description box below. The same pattern for the drummer boy is, is the same um, designer as these that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I will leave a link in the description box below for you. There they go. So cute, aren't they? So easy to make as well. You'll love them. <laughs> 